India and China are like two neighboring siblings who are always in a constant battle of one-upmanship. From territorial disputes to economic rivalries, the two countries have never shied away from locking horns. However, in recent times, India has been struggling to cut its dependence on China and it seems like this sibling rivalry has turned into an unhealthy addiction. So, why is India struggling to kick the Chinese habit? Let's take a closer look. India's dependence on China has been a major issue for the country for several years, with efforts to reduce this dependency being a key focus of government policies. However, despite these efforts, India's imports from China have continued to increase and the country remains heavily reliant on its northern neighbour for a range of goods. One of the main reasons for India's ongoing dependence on China is the large scale and low cost of Chinese manufacturing. China has established itself as the world's factory and across a range of industries, no other country can produce goods at the same scale or at such a low cost. This has made it difficult for India to find alternative sources of technology and machinery which it needs to support its growing economy. However, the Indian government is planning to cut its reliance on China. India's policymakers have attempted to address this issue through a range of measures, including increasing import duties on a range of products, restricting Chinese investments and imports, and launching production-linked incentive schemes to encourage domestic production. However, these efforts have not yet had the desired impact, with imports from China continuing to rise in many key categories. One of the major areas where India remains heavily dependent on China is in the production of machines and electric appliances, which account for around half of all goods imported from China. While India has made efforts to encourage domestic production in these areas, the scale and cost of Chinese manufacturing mean that it remains difficult for Indian companies to compete. In addition to machines and electric appliances, China is also a major source of organic chemicals and plastic items for India. In 2022-23, India imported organic chemicals worth 13.25 billion US dollars from China, up from just 7.97 billion in 2019-20, while imports of plastic items more than doubled from 2.72 billion US dollars to 5.6 billion US dollars over the same period. Now, the Indian government is making some conscious efforts to become self-reliant. To reduce its dependence on China, India is making efforts to encourage domestic production through production-linked incentive schemes in various sectors. Over 2 lakh crore rupees have been set aside for these schemes, with the automobile industry being a major focus. However, challenges remain, with some companies suspected of violating rules on local sourcing and production, and subsidies for the industry yet to be released. Another major area of focus for India is the production of electric vehicles, where it is heavily dependent on Chinese imports. To address this issue, the government has launched a production-linked incentive scheme worth 18,000 crore rupees for advanced battery cell chemistries. While India's efforts to reduce its dependence on China are ongoing, there are several factors that make this a challenging task. One of the key issues is India's relative lack of manufacturing expertise, which makes it difficult for the country to compete with China in terms of scale and cost. In addition, the COVID-19 pandemic has disrupted global supply chains, making it difficult for India to find alternative sources of technology and machinery. Overall, India's efforts to reduce its dependence on China are a work in progress, with the country facing significant challenges in this area, while the government's production-linked incentive schemes and other policies are a step in the right direction, it will take time for these measures to have the desired impact. In the meantime, India will need to continue to work on building its domestic manufacturing capabilities while also exploring alternative sources of technology and machinery.